Now, why is data so important? It's important because we have reached the point when we can hack not just computers, we can hack human beings and other organisms. Now, what do you need in order to hack a human being? You need two things. You need a lot of computing power, and you need a lot of data, especially biometric data. What we have seen so far, it's corporations and governments collecting data about where we go, who we meet, what movies we watch. The next phase is the surveillance going under our skin. The most important development of the 21st century is this ability to hack human beings, to go under the skin, collect biometric data, analyze it and understand people better than they understand themselves. This, I believe, is maybe the most important event of the 21st century. By hacking organisms, elites may gain the power to re-engineer the future of life itself. Because once you can hack something, you can usually also engineer it. So far, we have discovered the secrets of less than 0.3% of complex life on the planet. Think what will we achieve, what we will achieve when? And it is a matter of when we understand one or two percent, let alone five or ten percent. Science is replacing evolution by natural selection with evolution by intelligent design. Not the intelligent design of some god above the clouds, but our intelligent design and the intelligent design of our clouds the IBM cloud, the Microsoft cloud, these are the new driving forces of evolution. And at the same time, science may enable life after being confined to, for four billion years to the limited realm of organic compounds, science may ena enable life to break out into the inorganic realm. 